Sometimes we like what we hear and sometimes we don't. But then there are those other times where we just don't understand what we hear. Then what? Hi kids and welcome to today's Kids Corner. The Bible is God's word for us. It tells us about how much God loves us, so it's good to read from it and to do that often. Today we're going to hear from the good news, the gospel that was written down for us in the Bible by Mark. But before we start, let's do as we always do. Let's fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads and pray. Lord God, please help us to learn today and especially keep your word in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples and he asked them all, who do the people say that I am? And they answered him. The disciples told him, people are saying that you're John the Baptist or Elijah or one of the other prophets come back from the dead. But who do you say that I am? The disciples thought, and then Peter answered him. He said, you are the Christ. Then Jesus told them the future. He said that he'd have to suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. Those were tough words for the disciples to hear, and tough for them to understand, too. So tough that Simon Peter took Jesus aside, and, and he said, No, 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 don't speak like that. But Jesus didn't want to have anything to do with what Simon Peter said. You see, Simon Peter didn't understand what Jesus, was say, uh, what, what Jesus came to do. Uh, Jesus was heading to the cross purposely to die there so that our sins could be forgiven. Peter's words were like Satan yelling out, don't do it. Don't go to the cross. Don't die for all those people because they're not worth it. You know, Jesus said, get behind me, Satan. Simon Peter would come to understand what Jesus was saying someday soon, even though he didn't quite understand it yet. Jesus would die, but then he would rise up on the third day and give us all life forever. Now, if you don't understand something, it's okay to ask. That's how we learn, especially if there's something that you don't understand about God. You can come to the pastor or, or go to him, go to God and ask him any question that's on your mind, especially <laughs> that question about patience. Give me patience, God, because I need to wait for the answer to be revealed. Well, after Jesus died and rose again, Simon Peter could say that Jesus was the Christ, the living Son of God, who went to the cross for the forgiveness of our sins and who rose again to give us life for all time. We believe that now because it was revealed to Simon Peter and then to us. Amen. Okay, well, it's time to pray again. This time you can repeat after me. Remember, when we pray, we fold our hands, we close our eyes, and we bow our heads, and we say, Thank you, God, for helping me to believe. In Jesus' name. And all the people say, Amen. If you want to know more about what you learned today, you can look it up and read it for yourselves in the Bible. It's in Mark 8, verses 27 through 38. If, uh, as always, there's a uh, craft, a fun craft for you to do this week, just click on the video below this one on our family page, or if you're walking, watching this on Facebook or YouTube, click on the link that comes with this video here, and you can see what that is. There's also an activity sheet for you to have some fun with. Just click on the picture below the craft video on our webpage, and that'll take you to our members section. Remember to get in, you have to type that secret passcode, GLC2021. That's GLC like Grace Lutheran Church, and then 2021 like the year. No capitals, no spaces, just GLC2021. When you, type ent when you type that in and hit enter, you should see a pop-up at the top of the screen that tells you you've done everything correctly. Just hit OK, and you'll go right to the page for downloading. Remember to be polite and ask if it's OK to download stuff before you print things out, and it's really important to ask for help if you can't do any of that on your own. If you're new to our family page, be sure to check, uh, check out Forever and Grace. They're around to help you learn how to look things up in your Bibles and to help you read and think about God's Word. You can click on the cartoon and download a Bible activity bookmark to keep in your Bibles as well. Well, that's it for this week. God bless your day and the days ahead, and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. 
Until then, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. Amen. And amen.